Eli 5. Why do tires appear to rotate in reverse the faster they go? Wow, there are a remarkable amount of incorrect answers here. It's true that this is observed through cameras, but it's also something that we commonly perceive in real time too in the absence of any lighting, like when we're looking at the blades of a helicopter in flight or the spokes of a fan. The formal name for this phenomenon is the wagon wheel effect. The reason why this happens is twofold. It is based both on how the wheels spin and how our brain interprets images. Picture this. A wheel makes one full rotation in 50 milliseconds. But your brain updates and interprets your visual cues every 40 milliseconds. So when 50 milliseconds pass, the wheel will spin once fully, but because of the desync and timing you'll see the wheel almost spin once fully. You'll have to wait another 40 milliseconds because of the timing delay by your brain to see the wheel in its starting position. Now imagine the same wheel spins twice, which would take 100 milliseconds. At the end of the first wheel spin, as discussed above, you'll see the wheel slightly behind, and 40 milliseconds later because the wheel is still spinning, because 100 milliseconds hasn't elapsed yet, your brain will update itself again, and you'll see the wheel even further back than you saw the first time. At this point your brain is going to draw a conclusion. It's going to interpret all those delays as HM, I only see the wheel slightly behind where it originally spins each time. Logically this must mean that the wheel is spinning backwards, opposite, not forward, and it relays this information to you accordingly, causing you to think what you think. If the wheel spins many times quickly, as wheels usually do, you'll see this effect much faster, creating the phenomenon that you see. Now it should be noted that in real life, our brain doesn't have a fixed refresh rate. We aren't computers after all, we can't easily put a label on our brains. The 40 milliseconds refresh rate used above was only for simplicity's sake, and in reality it constantly fluctuates based on many biochemical processes.